Well, hi everyone. I'm doing a cookie collab and Bacon Diva had arranged all this. And there's about five different YouTube or six different YouTube channels that's involved doing cookies. And at 11 o'clock, we're all posting our cookie recipe. So look in the description box below for everybody's link and go check it out and you'll know what kind of cookie they're making. I'm making a sugar cookie stained glass and you can eat it or you can hang it. So I'm gonna do it the easy way because I find that people are so darn busy this time of year that they wanna make something quick, easy, and pretty. Now, I did some prep for this because it took 45 minutes for me to take hard candy and put it through my little food chopper and chop up the different colors. You have to use hard candy for the stained glass. And that took 45 minutes just to okay, do that. Okay, we got the three tablespoons of flour in. And I got the butter right here. I'm gonna put it in the microwave for just a few minutes. I hope everybody's doing well. And we also need to have one egg. I'm buying my eggs now because of my girls. They're not here. I gifted them to a nice home. So we're gonna put the one egg in. And I always like to use my egg in a different container because you never know what might be in it. Let me, uh, my butter will be out in a minute. I'm not sure if we need a mixer or not. You might be able to just use a spatula. We'll see. I only make these once a year, so I kind of forget. I make so many different cookies all through the season. Okay, so here's our melted butter. So we're gonna mix this all together right now. I don't think we need our mixer. And then we're gonna put our, our sugar mix in, just like this. And see if we can mix it up like this. The problem is, is when you try to do something like this, you only got 15 minutes to do it, which is kind of hard. So, that's what YouTube usually gives me is 15 minutes. So I try to get as much as I can prepared so it doesn't take up all my time and you can see a lot of my steps that I'm doing. So if I seem like I'm hurrying, yes, I am hurrying. Okay, you could have used your mixer, but a spatula is fine. And you wanna roll it out either on whatever you have and I'll also put a simple sugar cookie recipe in the description box below for folks that want to use it um, with their sugar with a sugar cookie and not using a mix. But I'm trying to make it easy, and that way everybody will both have it. They'll have it. I call it the old-fashioned way, or they'll have it the quick way. Okay, I have my parchment paper here. That's what I'm going to use. I'm gonna put a little flour down on it, just like that. And you need a rolling pin to roll it out. So, my son got me this last year for Christmas. I collect rolling pins. And this is the dough. It looks pretty darn good, doesn't it? Once I get it here, I'll just knead it up with my hands a little bit, and then we'll roll all right out. Quick and easy. Gotta get everything. And as you all know, times are hard. Keep my spatula. Sorry, my sink is real close. Let's just kind of go like this. I'm watching the clock as we do this too, because I've, I've got to have time to show you all the steps. Okay. So you're just going to knead this over a little bit. Just kind of make it into a disc. Now, it didn't say you needed to refrigerate the dough, which I'm really surprised because most of them do. Okay, and we're just going to roll it out. I'm used to my flour tortilla roller, not a great big heavy roller. See, sometimes this is why I don't like to use this roller. Everything sticks. Let me get my flour. Okay, what I did is I put an extra uh, tablespoon of flour in. I didn't want to refrigerate it because it didn't say to refrigerate, and that does make a big difference. 
So and that, and I cut them a little bit thicker. So we're gonna cut them just like this. Whoops. I try not to waste anything. As you all know, everything costs a darn much out there. Go just like that. And we're gonna do a candy cane. I think that this will fit the candy cane. Like this. It's that time of year, everybody's gonna be busy baking. And that's what you do. And when I get my cookies all cut out, I'll bring you back. Okay, I have them all cut out. Um, what I did was I put a, one more tablespoon of flour in. I didn't refrigerate them, and I made them a little bit thicker. It says a fourth of an um, a fourth of an inch for cutting, but I did it a little bigger. Now, if you want these and you want to make them for ornaments, take a straw. Whoa! Poke it down in, and there you go, just like that. And what I do is I usually squeeze the dough out. I don't think I'm gonna be using these for ornaments, but I'll do one more. Just take the straw and stick it in. And what I do is I just squeeze it like that and it comes out. So now I'm gonna show you. You're gonna take this little cutter. Wish I had a little bit bigger tree, but I don't. Just like that. And we're not gonna waste, we're gonna use that. And this is where you're gonna put the hard candy in. I'll use this as a pointer. You're gonna put the hard candy in there. So we're gonna cut this one out like this. And again, we're not gonna waste. And this one, I'm not sure. I guess we'll go this way with this. Just like this. Do I have any more of those? Um, yes, I do. Over there. We're gonna take the candy cane and we're gonna pop it out. Gotta be very careful because there's not a lot of room in between your dough when you put another, unless you've got bigger cutters, and I actually don't at this point in time. And you take the star, see the star is not bad, just like that. And we're not gonna waste. Um, here we go again with the star. And you wanna put these in the oven at 350 or 375, depending what you're using for a cookie tray to cook it on. If it's dark, it's 375, and if it's light, it's 350. Whoa, that's all I need to do is drop it. Oops, come apart right there. It's all right. We'll just put it like this and just like this. And take that and cut it out like that. Whoops, I forget we're saving all the little pieces. There. There you have it. I'm gonna put it in the oven. Then we're gonna come back and we're going to put the hard candy in there little little mitten there we're gonna put the hard candy in and we're gonna go from there we'll be back okay folks I'm back that was uh, seven minutes so we're going to fill the inside of these and we're going to just go like this got a little bit there Just like this, fill it in. I would say less is better than more. There, just like that. You gotta find a very small teaspoon, and this happens to be my grandmother's spoon, of course. Can't leave her out of the holidays now, can we? Okay, we're gonna take some green Put it right here on the tree. And we're gonna dobble some green here. 
And the star, we're going to put yellow. Just like this. Well, it's a little bit, probably too much, but we will see. What color? We'll do the bell, a multi-color. Now, again, this is hard candy. You just put it in. Just like that. I like this mixture color right here. It was just the little shards left over from all the other hard candy. I don't want it to fill too much. Just like that. So, I'm going to bring you back and show you what it looks like. It only takes a couple of minutes. And I guess I forgot to cut those out or I was, wasn't thinking one or the other, but I have another tray here. Um, let me see, move this one out of the way. Put it over here, be ready to go. This made two cookie trays. And let me see here, where's my Grammy spoon? Grammy spoon. Let's make this orange. Okay, we'll make this orange. Just trying to do a little different colors here. I think, I think it's gonna look really pretty. Really, really pretty. Now the candy cane, let's see if we can get this. It's such a little space to work with here. Had a spoon, uh, let's see, I'll just use the end of the spoon again. Whoops, 